This Litecoin setup could happen today. In fact, it's already broken out of this consolidation. We just have to wait and see if it closes. I'll explain that shortly. Hi, this is Tim from Trading Strategy Guides. Litecoin is already busting out of this consolidation. Hopefully we'll see it close up here. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But first, it's important to be patient when you're waiting for a trade setup. But there's no need to be patient while you listen to me ramble on. So you'll want to click the gear icon below the video and select a faster speed to watch this video. Over a few months I've gone over my whole list of trading maxims, so I've started over and I'll be giving them to you randomly, sprinkled with any new ones that I add, so stay tuned for that. Things have been happening with some of the trades I've discussed in prior videos. Here are the updates on how I'm managing those trades, and then I'll show you the great Litecoin trade breakout that's happening. The silver trade is looking really good. I mentioned on Wednesday's webinar that uh, I closed the first position uh, at the target right up here and uh, moved my stop to 1473.10-ish, uh, which is right where I'm in on this position here. I closed this position uh, when it hit the target. Uh, this has not hit my protective stop yet, so we're in this. It's currently up about 32 cents, and it's locked in right at break even. If this closes up here, anywhere up here, I'm going to uh, move my uh, lock in up probably somewhere up here into 1480 or 85 or so. Well, Disney is moving up nicely. Uh, my entry is right here at 132.57. It's currently up about five bucks or so. I'm uh, moving my stop up to lock in at the first target right here. So the second half will be locked in. Uh, for a dollar, two dollars and fourteen cents, and uh, if this thing keeps pushing up, I'll keep moving my stop up on this. On Monday, I mentioned moving my stop on Kraft Heinz to twenty-eight ninety-five to lock in two fifty, which is right here. Up until this morning, that uh, stop has held. I'm going to have to check my account to see if I got taken out here. Uh, this bar is uh, goes up to 28.95 so I suspect I'm probably out of this second half uh, but I just noticed that while I was recording this video so no big deal if I'm if I'm out for this that's uh, two and a half dollars on the second half and that's going to represent a 1.4 percent account gain uh, since I went half size on this trade so I can live with that okay let's take a look at this Litecoin uh, this will be the first time I published a Litecoin trade. I was kind of torn between this and a really nice trading range on Ethereum. Uh, but I decided I like this Litecoin setup better. I'll watch Ethereum over the weekend, see how that does, and I might do a video on it for Monday. So you guys that have been around for a while know that I really like ascending and descending triangles. They're my favorites. I prefer that they're a little bit longer than this one on Litecoin. But it has all the proper features, so I'm going to go for it. The features that you want to look for on an ascending triangle is a great resistance level. Well, this level has been confirmed by no less than eight candles right here. So I think this qualifies. The next feature, you want to see higher lows. Form of an uptrend right here. Uh, this winding up of the price creates massive pressure on the resistance level and uh, pressure that we anticipate will explode to the upside. The next feature to look for is a reduction in trader interest in the pattern. I think traders must be easily bored or something. I know I am. <laughs> but consolidations are boring, so trader interest is demonstrated by volume and volatility. Uh, the volume is easy to see because the bars get shorter and shorter. You see your spikes are getting shorter and shorter as it goes on. Uh, the average may take a few bars to catch up uh, because, well, it's an average over the last 20 bars. So you won't start to see a reduction in the average uh, until you're further into the consolidation. Uh, and the same goes for uh, volatility. It's also an average. I use a 14-period ATR 
uh, for volatility and uh, it takes a bit of time to catch up as well. Just to be sure everyone's on the same page here, the volume represents the amount of money that traders have placed on a trading instrument at a certain price range. And the volatility demonstrated here by this ATR or average true range shows how much price has moved around during a certain time period. Uh, this ATR is the average length from high to low of the last 14 bars. So we've got the volume spikes falling off, we've got the volume average dropping off, and we've got the volatility dropping off. So this pattern is just ready to explode. Okay, uh, Since this is an ascending triangle, I will only take a trade if it explodes to the upside. If it explodes to the downside, no trade. So here's the plan. We wait for a daily close above this resistance level. Okay, we got the breakout above it, but we want to see the candle close up here. Uh, and remember to watch it all weekend, too. If this doesn't close today, it could close tomorrow because these cryptos trade over the weekend. So make sure that the breaking bar has at least average volume. So this is the average volume right here. We want to make sure that these volume bars go up through this average. To get a full size trade. If not, we want to see at least 75% of the average. So if you look over here, you'll see this is the average and this is the current volume. So this number should be at least 0.75 of this number to go half size. It should exceed this average to go full size. Next thing to look at, the closed candle needs to be within one ATR of the resistance line. If you read the current ATR, it's currently 9.24. So this has to be, uh, it's current, uh, the, the line, resistance line is about 116.47. So we add 9.25 to 116 and we get 125.72. So this close has to be below 125.72 or we wait until the candle retraces. If you're afraid that you'll miss it, you can always just put a limit order at the 1 ATR level or 125.72-ish. Um, otherwise you can just enter using a market order. Now I say 125.72-ish because we don't know what the ATR is going to be until the candle closes, okay? Because that will be continually changing. Uh, as this candle goes up, it's going to be increasing. Once this candle closes, or comes close to closing, you, you don't have to wait for the close. You can do it, say, 10 or 15 minutes before the close, which is typically what I do. And I just assume the numbers at that point, just to make sure that I get the order in before the market closes. Then you want to calculate your stop loss by taking whatever the current ATR is on the breaking bar and multiplying it by 1.5. So in this case, the ATR is 9.25. Multiply that by, by 1.5 and you get a stop loss of $13.87. Subtract that from your entry price to find your stop loss price. You can calculate your trade risk on that and I would stick to 1 or 2% trade risk. Your first target will be at ATR times 1, or in this case 9.25, will be added to your entry price and that will be your first target. At the first target you will close half of your trade, you'll move your stop loss to break even on the remainder, and then let the trade run. If you need more details on managing the trade, check out my trade management video from a few weeks ago. I'll put the link below. And that's our plan for the Litecoin trade. Now it's my favorite time, and I hope it's your favorite time, trading maxim time. <laughs> According to the dictionary, a maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, or a rule of conduct. Or sometimes it's just a proverbial saying. I use these maxims to help me not only in my trading, but in my life focus. I wish I could claim credit for writing these, but most of them come from my reading, and I read extensively. I add to my list whenever I find something that fits. So I hope they help you as much as they help me. 
As I've mentioned, I've gone through most of my trading maxims at this point, uh, so I'll be repeating them. I'm going to pick them out randomly to show you. This week is trading maxim number 15. Captain Picard. Commander, it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness, that is life. Yeah, I'm a sci-fi nerd, and no, I won't fight about whether Star Trek is better than Star Wars because Stargate is better than both of them. <laughs> but I love this quote from Star Trek The Next Generation. The wise old Captain Picard is telling the young android commander, who's probably not really young, but he's just young mentally, <laughs> that... You can still lose, even if you execute the rules perfectly, which, being an android, he always does. So, to bring all this nerdiness around to trading nerds, you can execute your trade rules with perfection and still lose the trade. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just that the edge that your rules normally give you didn't work that time. And that's okay. Don't change your rules just because of it. Remember our trade plan here? We're looking for a daily close above the ascending triangle to buy Litecoin. If the volume is not quite average, go half size as long as it's at least 75% of the average. Make sure the close is not more than one ATR above the resistance line. This could happen today. It could happen over the weekend. So look at it every single day and don't miss it. And remember to check out the trade management video for more details. The link will be below. And if you've got a day job and don't have time to analyze charts, Trading Strategy Guides offers the Strike Trader Elite Trade Signal Service. I believe they have also offered the EFC Trade Signal Service. Anyway, you'll get Forex Trade Signals on a dozen or so pairs on several different time frames based on the Strike Trader Elite system or the EFC system. Look below the video for a link to the free signals on the Telegraph app. And I'll post a link to my video that explains the Strike Trader Elite system as well. And be sure to come back to Trading Strategy Guides every week on Monday and Friday for my analysis videos and Wednesday morning for my training webinar. And check out the blog for great trading strategies. I'll put the link below. Also, follow me on Twitter. If things happen between my videos, I'll post them there. I'll put my Twitter link below as well. Tell your friends about us and help us make this the best trading channel on the Internet. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.